Hi everyone and welcome back to the Comic Cave. As you can see, I've changed things up just a little because now I'm showcasing some of my Deadpool collection. With the build-up to Deadpool 3, apparently Hugh Jackman has been bulking up and eating over 8,000 calories a day. I'm super excited about this movie. So I'll also be showcasing some of my favorite Deadpool items in the weeks to come. I recently got a little feedback that a shorter comic news segment may be better. So from this week, I'm going to try and do a quicker roundup of stories that caught my attention and ones I think you might find interesting too. Please stick around till the end of the video because I will be giving away comics from our friends at LB Comics. Gareth was kind enough to sketch on the inside cover of Meowch and the other one's also signed. So let's get into the quick intro and get right into the news. Hey guys, welcome back. Daredevil Born Again has been gaining traction with people excited to see Jessica Jones and Punisher. Others are upset that we won't get Karen or Foggy, but this week we learned that Jenny Ortega from Wednesday will have a big role to play. There's loads of speculation as to who, but my guess is why Tiger. We also found out that the pilot episode will be directed by none other than Michael Cuesta, the Dexter director. Fan posters and rumors have been flying around when it comes to Moon Knight Season 2, and it seems like Kang is going to play a significant role. If that's the case, then I'm guessing he will have to be playing Rama Tut. I did hear that Silver Surfer will be getting a Marvel special presentation. The same format that Werewolf by Night got, but what's even more interesting is that Sasha Baron Cohen will be filming one as Mephisto. I wonder if they're going to be combined into one special, because if you know your comics, Mephisto's first appearance is in Silver Surfer issue 3 from 1968. This is what the cover looks like if you ever are lucky enough to find it in the wild. I'm excited for Armor Wars. It'll bring back War Machine, well I suppose he's going to be back into the MCU, and properly integrate Riri Williams as Ironheart. What I heard this week is that James Spader is back as Ultron, so it seems like the main villains will be Damage Control, and they will piece together and bring back Ultron. And finally, we heard from Amy Pascal, the producer from Across the Spider-Verse, that it really will be a love story between Miles and Gwen. What we also learned is that the movie will take place in five dimensions. Gwen's homeworld, Earth-65, India-inspired Mumbatan, the 2099 universe, Nueva York, and punky New London, and a secret fifth dimension. At first, the Hollywood executives were worried that the audiences just wouldn't understand the concept of different universes and timelines, but thankfully, due to the previous movies, they went ahead. On to our competition element of the show, I think just comment below which comics you would like from LB Comics. Um, they were featured earlier at the beginning of the show, and they could be yours. Don't forget to follow them on all their social media pl platforms. They are super awesome guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have plans for a few exciting developments in the works, and you can find out about them here first. Till next time, catch you on the side of the flipping. Okay, bye.